So ladies and gentlemen, dear friends and participants, members, non-members of the World Communications Forum Association uh, from Davos, Switzerland, dear public relations, marketing and corporate communications experts, welcome to our edition of the Davos Communications Awards 2023. The awards are organized by the World Communications Forum Association, which was launched 10 years ago in Davos, Switzerland. My name is Maxim Behar. Majority of you know me. I'm the president of the forum for the, I think, fourth or fifth year in Iran. And uh, I'm really proud to share this special moment with you today, December 12th, 2023, two days after my birthday, and to announce the winners of the best public relations and social media and marketing communications projects. We will announce the best projects in the world. And we know that deeply estimated in our heart, Provoke is organizing amazing awards. ECO is doing excellent awards. IPRA is doing their uh, Golden Excellence Awards. And all the different communications, especially the locals like PRCA in the United States, PRCA, PRCA in the United Kingdom, each of you national associations, each of your national associations are doing the words. We are one of them. And we are one of the global communities, which we are good partners with our colleagues. We are not competitors because only partnership in the modern communications business can bring a lot of education, a lot of good examples on the market, a lot of good professional experience, and a lot of good friendship at the end of the day, because we must be friends. This year, I'm happy to have participants from over 20 countries, which entered 32 categories. Uh, this year, 2023, we have 95 amazing entries from Austria, Azerbaijan, Brazil, Canada, China, Egypt, Hungary, India, Lithuania, Malaysia, Romania, Slovenia, South Africa, Spain, Switzerland, Turkey, Ukraine, Slava Ukraini, United Arab Emirates, United Kingdom, and United States. And we will have 20, 32 gold winners, and they will get this amazing trophy. This is the trophy of the Davos Communications Awards. It's foldable, so whoever wins will have it in envelope by DHL straight to, straight to your office. Otherwise, and then you put it in your conference room, the clients come and they see Davos Communications Awards winner, then these clients will be your clients forever, I guarantee. So thank you very much for joining us in the awards again. And before uh, I give the floor to our chairman of this year's jury, our absolutely good friend and great professional, uh, Arun Sudaman from Hong Kong, I would say Arun from the world, from the planet Earth. I just want to say that uh, WCFA, World Communications Forum, is one of the greatest global business clubs headquartered in Davos, that unites PR professionals from each continent and more than 40 countries all over the world. Our, our mission is not only to develop the public relations industry, but also to provide various opportunities and to elevate the professional careers and brands of all its members. We provide a very dynamic platform for networking activities, creating a lot of space for professionals to engage, collaborate, and exchange knowledge that are only personally enriching, but also professionally beneficial. So next event, which we will provide, and I will speak at the end of this award about this, will be the Davos Communications Summit in person in Davos, Switzerland, in the beautiful mountains. And it's planned for 11th of April, 2024. It will be a two-day conference 
and you will find very soon on your emails or on the website. Of course, the detailed information how to participate. Honestly, I expect to see all of you guys in Davos. April is not heavy snowing, and I address our friends from India and from different, you know, South Asian countries, which are very often afraid of the cold Davos. We've been doing this in January, we've been doing this in February. Our friends from our friends from India were coming unexpectedly, uh, you know, with, with their slippers and the shorts, and and it was really bad. But April, Davos is beautiful weather. Great thanks to our media partners, PR Newswire, part of Cision Group, and also Doyer's Public Relations News. John Doyer is a great friend. And his father was uh, Arun, you for sure remember the company and remember his father. They were really leaders, information for the public relations business globally. And now let me thank again to our jury members, especially to our chairperson, Arun Sudaman from Hong Kong, who is the CEO and editor-in-chief of Provoke Media. And in the jury, we have Brett Galloway from the United States, Sharman Russells from South Africa, Claudia Dare from Brazil, Ilka Gobius from Singapore, Jan Boman from Denmark, Juliana Poleccio from Colombia, Mai Yan Lee from Vietnam, Michelle Garrett from United States, Mok Said Bani, professor from Malaysia, we have Rob Cartwright from the United Kingdom, Rama Balwani from India, uh, Tony McKenzie from the United States, and Valeria Tudor from Romania. You can see a very good mixture of people. Some of them I know, majority of them I don't know, but all of them, they provide their estimation very correctly, very on time, and very professional. For all of them, for the whole jury, thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. So I have the pleasure to give the floor to our chair, Arun Sudeman. Again, with thanks, Arun, it's your turn. Now is the time for announcing the best public relations project for projects for 2023. Uh, of course, discussed and estimated by the jury. Arun, please. Thank you, Maxim, and thank you for such a kind introduction. Hello, everyone. Um, as Maxim mentioned, my name is Arun Sudam, and I'm editor-in-chief uh, at Provoke Media. Um, it's good to see many of you on this call that I've known for, for, for several years. Um, best of luck uh, with the results tonight. Uh, and of course, it's an honor to be the jury chair for this incredible event. The entries this year have been exceptional, showcasing the best in the field communications, I think we would all agree we have seen uh, a very notable elevation in the quality of public relations and communications work uh, over the last three to four years. The world has faced some unique challenges, uh, but communicators everywhere all over the world have risen to those challenges, and you will see the evidence of that um, from the winning work uh, in, in this evening's or this afternoon or even this morning's award ceremony, depending on where in the world you might be. Um, professionals from around the world uh, sent in a lot of entries um, and, and some very high quality entries, which made the evaluation process, as you can imagine, both rewarding and challenging. Uh, we saw campaigns that not only met, but exceeded industry benchmarks. Um, they demonstrated a keen understanding, I would say, uh, of the nuances within the ever-changing communications landscape. Um, but before we reveal the winners, uh, of course, I would like I'd like to acknowledge the hard work and dedication of all of the jury members, and without whom this would not have been possible. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your valuable insights. You know, juries for all awards shows. I think we we all know most of us, if not all of us, on this call have judged PR awards shows. It's it's either a labor of love or a love of labor. Um, but either way, the, the reward comes from, from reading through all the entries and learning so much um, and then applying uh, a lot of judgment and a lot of insight and a lot of intellect. So thank you all. So without further ado, let's celebrate the outstanding achievements, dedication, creativity, and innovation demonstrated by the participants 
Uh, Max, if you could please announce the first category and the nominations. Thank you very much, Arun. Shukriya, my dost. And uh, now we are starting with the special categories, which represent our four categories with the highest interest in volume of quality entries. Therefore, each of these will have not one, but three winners, gold, silver, and bronze. The nomination for the best leader in public relations and communications are the first one, Chabi Lekka, Vice President, Corporate Communications and Brand Reputation, Interglobe Aviation Limited, Indigo from beautiful India. Anna Maria Campos, Communications Leader, LATAM Intersect PR for Peru and Latin America country. Viroslava Novoshina, CEO and founder, Slovatech PR from Ukraine. It's three ladies, amazing. It's three ladies, where are the men in this category? It's, uh, it's, it's a proof around that uh, the public relations business is a very female business and I'm proud to have three ladies in the nomination for best public best leader in public relations and communications. Are here the three of you, Chavi, Anna Maria, and Viroslava? Uh, yes, uh, I'm Viroslava and I'm here. Thank you a lot for uh, being in this nomination. It's uh, I'm very proud. Thank you a lot for this recognition. Viroslava, Slava Ukraini. Slava, and then... Viroslava. And now I am giving the floor to Arun to announce the winner for 2023. Sure thing. Thank you, Max. So in third place and winner of the Bronze Award is Ana Maria Campos from LATAM Intersect PR for Peru. In second place, winner of the Silver Award is Shabi Leka, Indigo VP, Corporate Communications and Brand Reputation from India, which means that the gold winner for 2023 is Viroslava Novosilna, CEO and founder, Slovatech PR from Ukraine. Congratulations. Viroslava founded Slovatech PR in 2013, a leading Ukrainian boutique PR agency for tech startups across 12 countries. Recognizing the economic impact of communication, she organized 100 plus free PR focused events, also initiated Ukraine's first sales and promotion conference, collaborating with TechCrunch, Forbes, Fortune, VentureBeat. She's passionate about empowering female founders. She's co founded WTech, which is a nonprofit project now expanding to 23 countries, supporting Ukrainian women facing economic challenges. Congratulations to Viroslava. Congratulations. All the winners, your contributions have set a high standard in the industry. Thank you a lot. It's a big honor. Thank you. Thank you, Viroslava. Well done. Well done to the other two ladies, of course. Congratulations to three of you. And you will get the golden, the silver, and the bronze plaque from our office very soon. Uh, I just want to say a couple uh, again. I didn't know that nominations. I didn't know that uh, results. But all we know how difficult it is to do a good, high quality public relations business these days in country like like Ukraine. We support our Ukrainian colleagues. We are proud of them. We are proud of the two organizations, the PR Army and the United Ukrainian PR Organizations. And uh, we hope that very soon we will be able to organize our Davos Summit in Kiev or our awards in Kiev. And I'm pretty sure that this day will come sooner or later. Thank you very much again, Arun, for this presentation. And congratulations to Viroslava and to the, go to the uh, silver and the bronze winner. Now we move to the nominations for PR Consultancy of the Year. Three companies out of many others are nominated for the awards. First one comes from United Arab Emirates, 
and it's Jumbe Consultant. The second one, of course, come from beautiful country of Brazil, and it is LATAM Intersect PR. And the third one comes again from Brazil, and it's called 4CO. And now I would like to ask the chair of the jury, Arun, to announce the winners. Okay, so in third place and winner of the bronze award is 4CO from Brazil. In second place, the silver award goes to, from the UAE, the Djembe Consultants, which means that the gold winner for PR Consultancy of the Year in 2023 from Brazil is LATAM Intersect PR, a rapidly growing agency reporting 40% growth in 2022, projecting 60% growth in 2023 with 40 employees across 12 Latin American territories. It has earned, earned recognition at prestigious awards and has influential co-founders in Claudia Dare and Roger Darasha. Established in 2019, it specializes in PR services, including media relations, influencer engagement, public affairs, and more, helping companies build connections in Latin America. Its solutions involve intersect research for campaign support, DEI and environmental services, and emotional climate reports. It also focuses on innovation and social responsibility. Achievements include revenue doubling, diverse team expansion, and multiple awards with Claudia Dari recognized as Top Women 2023, also by PR News. A round of applause for these remarkable PR consultancies that have demonstrated excellence in their work. Thank you very much, Arun. Uh, I would like to give the floor to someone from uh, Latin, from uh, uh, Latin to, to share a couple of words. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much. We are very happy with this recognition. Um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for uh, all the jury and thank you for this event. Uh, it's very important for the industry. We are happy to be here. We are happy with this. Thank you very much. I uh, really appreciate uh, your active participation both in the awards all over the years, also in the activities of the uh, World Communications Forum Association, but the most important, appreciate the job you're doing. Because without the job, you would not get the award, we would not be able to pay salaries, you will not make improvement in your business, so what you are doing in Latin America is a very, very, very good case study for all of us. Thank you very much. And Thank uh, you, congratulations. And, and obrigado. So we move now to the next category, which is the Digital Agency of the Year. And we have three shortlisted companies for the Digital Agency of the Year. Oh, one more from Brazil as well. So we have Kiev City Council from, of course, Ukraine. We have Sherlock Communications from Brazil, also very active and very fast developing company. And we have one from beautiful Azerbaijan, DOS Digital Innovation Center. Arun, who, who is the winner? Well, in third place, the bronze award goes to, from Brazil, Sherlock Communications. In second place and winning the silver award is Dost Digital Innovation Center from Azerbaijan, which means, of course, the gold winner for 2023 is from Ukraine, Resilience Through Digitalization, Kiev City Council. Kiev Digital was initially a transportation app, but of course transformed into a crucial platform during the crisis in Ukraine amid daily missile attacks and wartime challenges, the app became a reliable source of real-time information, aiding residents in staying informed and safe. It provided notifications on airstrikes, directed people to bomb shelters, and offered maps of essential services. The app's features streamlined transportation, including contactless payments and real-time schedules. Kiev Digital prioritized e-democracy tools, 
launching participatory budgeting and community-led initiatives during wartime, fostering citizen engagement. Environmental concerns were addressed with eco-sensors for air quality monitoring and an early warning system. Despite all the challenges it faced, it stands as a user-centric tool showcasing digital inclusion and the potential of e-democracy in a modern city. What an incredible entry. So congratulations to Kiev City Council. Fantastic work by all the digital agencies, pushing boundaries and embracing innovation. I don't know if anyone from Kiev City Council is here, but if they are and they yeah, would like to say a few words, you. please do. Uh, thank you so much for this word. Uh, I just uh, have a couple of words. We really appreciate this trust uh, to our key digital project and the opportunity to show our resilience during the war to the democratic world. And uh, uh, indeed, it's um, we are proud. It's incredible that we could turn the challenges we faced into the new era of development of Kyiv Digital and uh, realizing our responsibilities for our citizens. Uh, it's a great uh, pleasure for us to demonstrate our digital inclusion under any challenges to make people safe to make people informed uh, we uh, also want to thank you uh, for your understanding for your cooperation with us because without our international partners we could not um, also um, be so uh, inclusive in this sphere so we don't give up we continue to work for the future and uh, thanks so uh, one more uh, slava ukraine uh my dear katarina Giroim slava First of all, a couple of personal remarks. My best regards to your mayor, Mr. Klitschko. Uh, we really admire your job. I met your president Zelensky two months ago and we had a long conversation. How important is public relations business in this very sophisticated environment? And I, I'm meaning the war, but not only the war, because in fact, all we understand that there are two wars in the world now. One of them is the military war, which we see and we suffer and you suffer every day. The other one is communications war. So we are in this fight to provide the relevant, the exact information to, to be the soldiers of truth and soldiers of the real information. So we really appreciate your participation in the, into the world uh, and uh, very, very, very happy that uh, jury decided uh, this. And I'm pretty sure that uh, the rest of the two participants in the world, in the awards, they, they had excellent presentations as well, like Dost from Azerbaijan and Sherlock from Brazil. Sherlock had a couple of awards in our previous awarding ceremonies, but now Kiev City Council and again, very soon, we'll come to Kiev and we'll have our awards in the city council, in the room of the city council in Kiev. I promise here and thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are waiting for this, uh, for your coming to Kiev. Thanks. Budlaska. And now let's move to the nomination for excellence in communications response to Russia invasion. And we have three participants from Ukraine. We have uh, Nova Post, Kiev City Council again. Wow, I'm surprised. And we have the PR Army, very good friends and very good professionals. Arun, it's your turn. Yes, sir. So in third place, the Bronze Award goes to Where Are Our People, the PR Army Ukraine? In second place, winning the Silver Award, people who survived the occupation need help, Nova Post. Which means that it's a consecutive gold award for 2023. It goes to Resilience Through Digitalization, Kiev City Council. Congratulations for, as I said, a second well-deserved award. And of course, we extend our deepest admiration and support to all of the courageous communicators who have demonstrated unwavering resilience in the face of difficult times. 
Thank you so much one more time. It's really great honor for us to become the part of Davos Communication Award twice. We feel your support and uh, um, we highly appreciate this recognition. Thanks. Let me clarify, Katerina, you did not participate in the Davos Communications Awards. You won gold medals. It's a great, completely big difference. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. This, this plaque will go to Kiev very soon because flights are not allowed. We'll go by a train, uh, uh, with train or by train via Poland. So you will have it very soon. And when we come to the Kiev City Council, please keep those two very important golden plaques in front of your desk. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So, Mr. Chairman, you have the floor to announce the other winners of the categories. Indeed. So we have we have applauded the incredible achievements in our special categories. So we keep the excitement rolling as we move on to the other 28 categories. The winner in the category of B2B communications campaign is Eastflow Lead Gen B2B Content Marketing from Hungary, Effectivo Communications, a digital marketing agency founded in 2018, transformed Eastflow Technologies brand awareness in this B2B campaign, targeting corporate leaders and decision makers in larger companies, focusing on the workflow management industry. A comprehensive strategy included creating a new website, developing five landing pages, producing an ebook, crafting blog articles, and launching innovative initiatives like the Workflow Webinar. By utilizing Google and LinkedIn, the lead gen campaign yielded impressive results. Effectivo themselves demonstrate expertise in strategy development, online campaigns, and content creation. Please join me in congratulating them. Uh, Arun, thank you Next very much. Up. Maybe, maybe no, if, sure. we have, if we have participants from the relevant oh, sure. winners, Maybe they will have 30 seconds to, to share their point of view or appreciations. Jona Podkivano, please, you are. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Maxime. This is Valesh Buzay, CEO of Effective Communications. Um, wow, what a big surprise. Thank you very much. We really appreciate uh, the awards. And um, I think it's a great recognition for our B2B efforts. So again, big thank you and looking forward to working with all of you in the future. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations again. Our next category is Best Content Marketing Campaign. And the winner is Sherlock Communications from Brazil for the Preply entry. Preply partnered with Sherlock for a successful PR and link building campaign in Brazil, aiming to enhance its online presence and challenge language learning misconceptions. Sherlock's strategy included identifying high quality Brazilian domains, creating relevant content and leveraging PR initiatives. Key achievements included a press release on the success of the film City of God, 116 coverages and the integration of Preply into various niche subjects, securing 29 backlinks. Ta tailored content targeting language learners contributed to a 66% increase in estimated organic traffic within six months reaching 104,500 superb stats. So if there's anyone from Sherlock in the house, please come forward. No, it would appear not. So we shall move on. The it's next early, category is- Early in Brazil. They may sleep. Yeah, it, it may, maybe. They're too busy winning awards, I think. The uh, next category is best Corporate Affairs, the winner is LS Corporate Affairs from Slovenia. LS stands out as the winner in this category due to exemplary comm strategies that bridge the gap between the energy industry and the wider public. The company is led by CEO Alexander Mervar and has effectively communicated its vision for a sustainable future, emphasizing the importance of green transitions 
and the integration of renewable energy sources. LS is actively engaged in various conferences, including the Women in Energy 23 and Building Smart International Standards Summit, demonstrating a commitment to transparent communication on topics crucial to the energy sector. The presence of key figures like Katia Fashink, Chief Communications Officer, further underscores Ellis's dedication to fostering a deeper understanding of complex energy-related issues. Through interviews, articles, and collaborations, Ellis has successfully positioned itself as a thought leader, making it a deserving recipient of the award. Congratulations to Ellis. Please come forward if there is anyone on this call. Hmm. It's strange. I think I saw Katya there. I think she's on mute. Sorry. Ah, go ahead. Hi. Thank you. Thank you in the name of Ilis and all my team and our chairman, Mr. Marvar. We are very happy. Our complexity in communication, it's really challenging. So this is motivating for us. And you, Arun, have made the text. So we, we will give you a job. <laughs> You're so good in, in combining orchestration, in communication, in energy. So thank you for giving us the reward. And Maxim, thank you. Thank you. Outreach on Katya. Thank you, Katya. Congratulations. Next up, the winner is in the category Best Crisis Communications <laughs> Leader. And the winner in this category, also from Slovenia, what? Chief Communications Officer of LS, is <laughs> Katya Fashink. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. This is a surprise. So thank you very much. It's been a challenging year. And mm -hmm. we have to stay in shape and in energy vibes for the next ones. So Arun and Maxim, really thank you from my part. Thank you. So just a few words. Uh, Katya was too modest to, uh, to <laughs> maybe talk too much about her entry, but her effective management has led to a positive impact on the company's reputation and reduced negative media connotations. She oversees all communication, document production, and corporate events, plays a particularly crucial role in crisis communication, Communication, yeah. heading the crisis government group, complex crises. Uh, a distinguished communicator, uh, Katia just graduated from Oxford University's Corporate Affairs Academy and is a PhD candidate and corporate reputation group leader at Forbes, Forbes Communication Council. Thank you. Uh, she's also recognized for her contributions to comms theory and her leadership extends to international platforms. Congratulations, Katya. Thank you. Okay, the winner in the category best CSR or ESG is up next. And the winner comes from Romania. The entry is snack mindfully enjoy the moment fostering healthier teen habits it's price commu corporate communications it's a groundbreaking educational initiative aimed at cultivating healthy snacking habits among teenagers facilitated by a successful public private partnership involving the ngo association the national authority for consumer protection and industry leader mondelez romania the program reached 9,400 teenagers aged 15 to 17 across Bucharest with the support of 418 coordinated teachers. The initiative focused on in-person interactive sessions in schools led by experts in nutrition, mindful snacking, planning, habit formation, and psychology, emphasizing mindfulness as a key tool for adopting healthier lifestyles. The program provided practical tools and techniques to empower teenagers to make informed snack choices. So congratulations to Price. I don't know if they are on the call. Hello. Um, thank you for uh, for the prize. Um, Dana Dobrescu from um, from Mondelez is also also here, and uh, she is the heart of the of the program. So I let her uh, say a few words about uh, about the program and the prize. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it's a project that we truly believe in. It's a project that is growing every year, 
and it's becoming more and more success, successful, not necessarily by the results, but the most many requests that we are having every year for many, many high schools to join this program. We truly believe in it that it's transformational and we see the results when we talk year after year with the high schools that are coming back to the program because they want to learn and change and have great habits. So for us, it's a, a real, a real honor to receive this award because it's basically celebrating all the work that we are doing from all our hearts to really change and uh, influence a big change in the habits of our teenagers. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ioana. Thank you, Dana. Mucho mask and uh, to best Romania. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Our next category is best digital or social media campaign. And the winner is from Egypt, Rada Public Relations for Breaking Depression social media campaign. This campaign aimed to raise awareness about depression and combat the associated stigma. It saw substantial success reaching 9,400 teenagers and fostering positive engagement on social media. Rada PR strategically utilized various channels, including social media influencers and social PR, to disseminate information about depression, challenge stereotypes, and encourage seeking professional help. The initiative effectively utilized shocking facts, patient stories, and informative posts, contributing to an increased understanding of mental health issues. It not only succeeded in meeting its goals, but also received positive feedback and expanded its reach, showcasing the impactful communication strategies employed by Rada PR in the mental health space. Congratulations to Rada PR. Is it, who's here from Rada PR? Do we have someone from Rada? No, I think not. Okay, Arun, we can continue. Our next category is Best Influencer Marketing Campaign. The winner is How Life Happens highlighted the ease of choosing life insurance, KWT Global from the United States. The How Life Happens campaign aimed to address the awareness and education gap in the Hispanic community regarding life insurance during the 2022 Life Insurance Awareness Month. Strategy included engaging actress mm -hmm. Rosalind Sanchez as the spokesperson and creating bilingual content for wider accessibility. The campaign achieved outstanding results with over 634 million impressions. One plus million views of Rosalind Sanchez's video PSA and a 54% increase in visitors to lifehappens.org compared to the previous year. The bilingual approach and targeted media efforts significantly contributed to exceeding year-over-year -year results across various touch points. So congratulations to KWT Global. And I'm thinking we probably don't necessarily want to ask people to make any comments from now on. Um, my, we maybe we on. have Aaron Quicken here who is the CEO of the company? No. Okay. Uh, I don't believe ahead. Aaron's on. Yeah. So congratulations. We can move on. Congratulations to KWT Global. That was a, a superb campaign, actually. Um, next up is Best Internal Communications Campaign. The winner from Ukraine. Nova Post for Fairy Tale Troll, the Cargo Plane and the Magical Rainbow. No, 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 no. Nova Post, a renowned Ukrainian company, prioritizes employee well being by integrating HR initiatives focused on employees' families. One notable project is the annual gifting tradition for employees' children, manifesting in creative fairy tales. In response to the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, Nova Post addressed the emotional impact on employees' children by publishing a fairy tale, fostering understanding of war's complexities and emphasizing parents' vital roles. The project aimed to connect fantasy with reality, enhance emotional intelligence, and alleviate stress in children. The strategic approach involved child psychologists, 
focus group testing, and sand animation visualization. Implementation spanned internal and external channels, reaching 25,000 children and gaining positive feedback. Congratulations to Nova Post. Thank you. Uh, hello, my name is Anastasia Yalova. Uh, hello to everyone from Kyiv, from Ukraine. And thank you for a word. It's really important uh, project for all our uh, team, for all our company, because uh, this project we did a couple years ago for our little, little Nova Postas. Uh, it's our future clients. It's our future employees. And thank you. It's very important for us to be part of communications uh, from all over the world. Thank you very much. Congratulations once again. Our next category is the best lifestyle Sorry. campaign. <laughs> and the winner in this category is from Hungary, Effectivo Communications for the entry Dr. Hummel Improving Lives campaign. Uh, Dr. Hummel is an innovative health focus brand led by Dr. Zoltan Hummel with a focus on fiber-based solutions for digestive health. The campaign aimed to increase brand awareness, encourage trial and boost online sales. Targeting health conscious individuals, pr primarily women, Age 35 to 55, the campaign employed educational content across various channels. Utilizing platforms like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Google, and email, the strategy included a nutritional reform program, sand animation, and a lead gen landing page. The results showcased significant growth in brand impressions, a surge in sales, and over 2,850 leads generated. Effective low communications demonstrated their expertise in crafting a compelling strategy that resonated with the target audience, achieving outstanding results. Congratulations to Effective O Communications. Thank you very much. Just to say, a word to say, we are speechless and humbled. Thank you very much. This project is very close to your heart because this is about lifestyle and improving lives. So we are very proud. Thank you very much. Yeah, congratulations. And it's actually great to see so many of these cam campaigns making such a tangible difference um, to the lives of people in, in so many countries around the world. So well done to all of you so far. Next up is the category Best Marketing Communications Campaign. The winner in this category from South Africa, Bombella Concession Company, with the campaign entry, How Train Free Travel Spree Campaign successfully addressed post-pandemic challenges in South Africa's public transport industry by launching innovative marketing campaigns for the How Train Rapid Rail System. Focusing, focused on boosting ridership amid hybrid work policies, the Free to Move and Free Travel Spree campaigns strategically targeted new market segments, emphasizing leisure travel, leveraging technology, QR codes were used to reduce touch points, providing data for evaluation. On the campaign day, a flexible approach allowed additional unregistered guests, resulting in an impressive turnout of more than 76,000 attendees, exceeding the initial 64,000 registrations. The integrated marketing efforts, enhanced train schedules, and free bus trips contributed to surpassing both ridership targets and stretch goals. Congratulations to Bombella Concession Company. Viva South Africa. Is there anyone from South Africa? No, then we, can, we can move ahead. All right, next up is the category Best Public Relations Campaign. The winner from Ukraine Again, it's Nova Post, a leading express delivery company in Ukraine, which navigated unprecedented challenges during Russia's invasion in 2022, despite a substantial drop in cargo turnover and operational setbacks. The company swiftly restructured its logistics, becoming a vital support system by resuming daily deliveries to remote 
and frontline cities. The communication strategy assured the public of Nova Post's operational status, highlighted its role in job creation and contractor support, and conveyed a commitment to the future. Through innovative tactics such as regular news updates, international media collaboration, and e-commerce partnerships, Nova Post effectively communicated its resilience. The results showcased high brand recognition, trust, and customer satisfaction, demonstrating the company's resilience and dedication during times of crisis. Congratulations to Nova Post. All right. Hi. The next. Oh. Uh, yeah, my name is Olga. I'm from Nova Post. Uh, thank you so much for recognition. It's a pleasure for us to get this nomination, to win this nomination. Uh, Nova Post uh, is a support uh, for all Ukrainians uh, for 22 years already, whenever they are, wherever they are. And uh, it's a big pleasure and uh, we are very happy to get this award. And um, uh, all our team was working hard to uh, provide uh, all the uh, possibilities to continue, uh, uh, continue working during these hard times. Uh, of course, it was a challenge for us, for all our big team of uh, over 30,000 employees in Ukraine, but uh, together, we uh, made it real. We continued uh, our operations and help lots, helped lots of people in Ukraine and lots of businesses to evacuate to the safer uh, territories. And also, um, we um, uh, thank you so much for this uh, uh, for this nomination and for letting uh, us know that we are the winner. Thank you very much, Olga. Congratulations and Slava Ukraini indeed. Heroiam Slava. We are very happy of this uh, uh, this recognition and the way you do your job, guys, in these difficult conditions and so circumstances. Much. Thank you, sir. Good laska. Congratulations to Nova Post. Our next category is the best use of brand in which the winner is DTEC Renewables, also from Ukraine, for the largest wind project in Ukraine, also facing, as you would all know, unprecedented challenges. Despite construction pauses and blackouts, the company resumed and completed the project, symbolizing belief in Ukraine's victory. To communicate this feat amid war strategic activities included press releases, a documentary, a TED talk, and a branded wind turbine, Facing unique communication challenges during wartime, the company prioritized safety, personalized messages, and real-time adjustments. The comprehensive tour of the wind farm for key stakeholders garnered international media coverage, showcasing resilience and inspiring confidence in investing in Ukraine. The campaign achieved significant media coverage, exceeding annual KPIs, and generated interest for future investments in DTEC Piliguska. So congratulations to DTEC Renewables. Uh, thank you very much for this recognition. My name is Olena and I'm from DTEC Renewables. And uh, it's a great, great honor for uh, the whole team of uh, our company and especially for PR team that supported the construction of the wind farm, uh, the first actually wind farm constructed the mid-war to support uh, the energy infrastructure of Ukraine uh, in terms of blackouts and the uh, constant shelling uh, by Russians, our energy infrastructure structure. It's uh, really you know, was a challenging project and uh, we are not stopping. We're going to construct another part. And uh, thank you very much for this recognition. Thanks a lot. Well done. Another great campaign from Ukraine. Again, showcasing how communications has risen to some unique and unprecedented challenges. Next up is the best use of SEO category. Um, and the winner uh, for a campaign that you've already seen from Brazil, it's Freeply from Sherlock Communications. Congratulations on securing your second well-deserved award today with this campaign. I don't believe there's anyone from Sherlock. 
in the house. No, I'm here. I can I can speak. Oh, I can speak from great. Sherlock <laughs> in behalf of Sherlock. So the Prepley team uh, made sure to let you know that they are very happy with this win. They are very proud of this campaign because it was quite time consuming and demanding. So we are very glad. Congratulations again. It's a for an excellent win. Okay, our next category is communications in the age of crypto. And the winner in this category, again from Ukraine, is Whitebit for the Gagarin Show, Success, an impactful campaign for crypto adoption centered around the Gagarin Show, successfully addressing challenges posed by war and economic instability. Strategy included celebrity led humorous education via the show, collaborations with the Ministry of Digital Transformation, and partnerships with global brands. Achieving significant viewership and a memorandum of cooperation with the government, Whitebit aims to enhance crypto literacy among Ukrainians with the ultimate goal of 50% understanding by 2030. The project, driven by internal efforts, marks a crucial step in normalizing cryptocurrency use in Ukraine's market, as indicated by legislative support and key partnerships. Well done to Whitebit. Think okay. Yes. Yeah, sure. Our next category is employer branding campaign. And the winner in this campaign comes from Brazil. It's for CO for the entry Livelo, employee value proposition. A Brazilian loyalty company experiencing rapid growth in a nascent market partnered with consultancy Forco to enhance its employer, employer branding through an employee value proposition project. Despite facing challenges in recruitment due to a 20% annual increase in headcount, Livello successfully leveraged the EVP to restructure its employee journey, align with core values, and reduce turnover. Um, Forco employed workshops, research, and a visual map, concise tagline, all of which led to a 21% headcount increase in 2022. 15% rise in followers in LinkedIn and a significant improvement in employee engagement, retention, and external recognition, positioning Lavello among the top companies to work for in various categories. Congratulations to Forco. Okay. I will move on to our next category. It is the Engage or Change campaign. And the winner in this category is Menas and Menas Communication for the Save Soil campaign, led by renowned Indian yogi Sadhguru, aiming to address the urgent global issue of soil erosion. As part of Sadhguru's worldwide motorcycle tour, the agency strategically highlighted its journey through Austria, emphasizing media effective locations and organizing public appearances at iconic sites. The campaign focused on mobilizing young individuals to actively participate in the cause, leveraging Sadhguru's global recognition. The dedicated landing page, media distribution, press releases, campaign successfully garnered widespread coverage in Austria and Germany, not only increased public awareness, of soil preservation, but also stimulated discussions in Austrian politics about soil sealing, marking a significant milestone in the Conscious Planet Save Soil campaign. So congratulations to Manas and Manas. Is anybody from Manas and Manas here? Peter or Petra? Great company. It's one of the leading Austrian public relations and public affairs advisors. Very Indeed. nice people. And... Indeed. Okay, we move on to the next category, which is global communications campaign. And the winner comes from Malaysia. Busy B consult for their entry, Sarawak Rainforest World Music Festival, a compelling comeback story of sustainability aim to revive the festival post COVID with a focus on responsible tourism and planetary health. Key objectives included showcasing leadership, boosting visibility and creating enthusiasm beyond music 
the approach achieved remarkable outcomes, including a record-breaking festival with 199 international musicians, 20,000 global visitors, and prestigious awards like the Pata Gold Awards for Sustainability. Media coverage surpassed mm -hmm. expectations, highlighting Sarawak's commitment to responsible tourism and sustainability. A lot of love from the judges for this campaign. Congratulations to Busy B. Thank you very much, Aru, and thank you, Maxim. This is indeed a privilege for us. Um, in fact, um, it, is, it is more even more meaningful because uh, we just, last week, we won uh, the campaign of the year for this very campaign for Malaysia. And in fact, it, this is in fact a testament to the hard work of uh, my staff, of the team, as well as the support from the clients uh, and, and we've been trying to push this uh, responsible tourism messaging for many, many years. We want people all over the world to start embracing responsible tourism. And um, well, we've done it. And, and I, I, we are very much appreciative and thank you so much uh, to Maxim, Arun and the whole uh, panel of judges for recognizing yeah. us and this campaign. Thank you. Thank you, Malaysia. Thank you very much. You've never been there, but once in a while, we had a forum, the Davos Forum in Malaysia, and I think it was 2015 or 16. We have a very good partner there, Nuru, and uh, we'll be back. Congratulations. Uh, sorry, another uh, something else, Maxim and Aaron, uh, uh, we look forward to uh, bringing this whole thing to Malaysia. Uh, and uh, as the president of PRC Malaysia, um, we would like to uh, for for uh, Malaysian practitioners to start recognizing this and and be, becoming part of this as well. So we hope we'd be um, to to play a more significant role in this whole um, uh, Davos thing and and WCFA. Thank you again. Thanks a lot. It might be a joint event between uh, Provoke and uh, WCFA. Thanks. Yes. Thanks, Professor Said. I, I'm always happy to come to Malaysia, especially. If it involves Nasi Lamak, Sam Laksa, I'll be right and there. Ruti um, and Ruti Chanai. Of course, of course. <laughs> okay. All right, and, and, and we'll move members. on. Congrats, everyone. Yeah, congratulations to everyone. We move on to our next category, which is the health and wellness campaign category. The winner of this one from Romania is Snack Mindfully, Enjoy the Moment. Price Corporate Communications, congratulations on receiving your second award today. That's uh, incredible dedication and hard work. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next up is the Inclusive Marketing Campaign category. And the winner from Spain is Marco Agency for Path to Inclusive Celebration from Orgullo de Pueblo to She. Marco collaborated with JNB, the globally renowned whiskey brand, to execute impactful campaigns, strategically using social media, focusing on Instagram and Facebook to broaden JNB's audience and infuse the brand with purpose. The work not only increased community engagement and interactions, but also sparked national discourse on LGBTQI plus issues Subsequent She campaign achieved international success, showcasing Marco's expertise in driving meaningful con conversations and resonating with diverse audiences. So congratulations, Marco. Marco is not here, maybe. I guess well, not. Uh, buenos dias, Marco. All okay, right. Our next category is in-house team of the year. And the winner comes from India. It is the Aditya Birla group for their entry, Big On Communication, the 165-year-old Indian conglomerate spanning 17 sectors and 41 countries. The company achieved notable milestones, aligning employee purpose with its overarching mission, revamped internal communication, with 600 plus stories and 110 plus videos and strategically improved web content, yielding a growth of, of almost 19% since 
Social media engagement soared with almost 70 million interactions. The group successfully defended against 400 online attacks, which is great. We've only had one on this Zoom call so far, and that was pretty traumatic. Uh, it won 28 industry awards and secured the number seven position among India's top corporate communication teams. These accomplishments underscore Aditya Birla's group group's commitment to innovation, to in effective communication, effective impactful community. partnerships, and strategic positioning. Congratulations to Aditya Birla. Thank you very much, Arun. Thank you, Maxim. This was this is really a great honor. And on behalf of the team of Aditya Birla Group Corporate Communications, we are extremely humbled for this recognition. I think as a team, we really strive hard to make sure that every communication we do, it goes back to our theme, which is big in your life. And everything that we do, everything we believe, our group purpose, our social media communication, internal communication, everything is tied up to what matters the most. And that is being big in everybody's life and making a difference. So once again, team, thank you so much for this recognition. Truly humbled and honored. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, and we really appreciate the uh, participation of uh, the group to our uh, to our awards. And what I can say in Hindi is "Apaye <laughs> Baharai." That's a good one, Maxim. <laughs> Shukriya dosta. Well, it's already more Hindi than I do, so well done. <laughs> um, next up, the Instagram campaign category, and the winner comes from China. It is. BGI Genomics for its Instagram Highlight Moments campaign, which highlighted moments related to skin cell renewal, aging, and cervical cancer prevention. Noteworthy posts garnered significant reach and likes, including one that reached 1.4 million people and, re and, and received more than 7,000 likes. The campaign launched on World AIDS Day, emphasized a one-to-one -one gender ratio indicating broad interest in cervical cancer awareness. Beyond promoting BGI's technology, the content attracted those interested in genetic science and precision medicine, expanding the company's recognition and follower base. It also successfully advocated for male engagement in raising awareness for cervical cancer prevention and public health care. So congratulations to BGI Genomics. Okay, I think we will move on to our next category, which is the Metaverse and VR Project. And the winner in this category is from Brazil. It is once again to sect PR for the entry world campaign for Metamundi positioning the architecture agency as a metaverse industry leader in Latin America. Launched at Rio Innovation Week, the campaign utilized podcasts, real-time news, social media, and a metaverse convention center for panel discussions to generate over 220 articles and reach 642 million in six months. The immersive experience established Metamundi as a thought leader leading to recognition at the 2022 Digital Awards, sustaining brand leaderships with significant growth, social media engagement. Congratulations, Latam Intersect. Congratulations to Claudia. Thank you very much. <laughs> Again, it's a pleasure to receive this. Uh, this was an amazing project that we had the opportunity to put uh, to work. And I'm sorry, there is a noise here. I don't know if it's interfering. But okay, I I just okay. I, the noise is stopped. No, sorry. Um, thank you very much, and it is an honor to receive this for this amazing and innovative project. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Can you still hear me? I'm here. 
Um, I had an idea here and you have a connection problem there. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. that's exactly what happened. So I just switched to a different connection. Uh, and I'm also still here on video. So if the admins want to put me on, I'm still here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, one moment. Right, okay. Um, we move on with our next category. Can I just check everyone can hear me still? Absolutely, we hear you very well. Great, okay. Our next category is the Outstanding Freelancer of the Year. The winner in this category from Canada, the founder and principal of Les Incorrigibles, Catherine Pizet, I'm sorry for my pronunciation, with over 20 years of communication and marketing experience as the founder of the consultancy fluent in French, English, and Mandarin. She challenges conventional norms in the industry. Her research-driven initiatives explore areas like neurodiversity and generative AI have earned, earned her accolades, including a Hermes Platinum Award. As a speaker and advisor, she contributes to the community, influencing professionals and students. Uh, with a background in political science and international relations, Catherine brings a unique outsider mindset to her role as a devoted harbinger of change in the comms profession. Congratulations to Catherine. Thank you so much. I'm quite honored by this. Where are you based in Canada, Catherine? I'm in Montreal, in Quebec. Oh, it's, it's not Montreal. It's a beautiful Montreal. Oh, well, there you go. You got it. I can only <laughs> agree to this. Absolutely. Thank you for the Please, award. From now uh, on, when they honor. ask you where you're from, you say from beautiful Montreal. I sure will. Thank you, Maxim. <laughs> Congratulations. Indeed. Thank you again. Okay, excellent. Congratulations once again to Catherine. Okay, next up is the PR Rising Star category. Uh, and the winner in this category from Brazil, the Digital Planning and Strategy Coordinator at LATAM Intersect PR. It's Livia Gamardea, a 26-year-old rising star in the field of PR, has made significant contributions as a digital team leader at LATAM Intersect PR in Brazil and Latin America. Despite her relatively brief three-year career in PR, she has established herself as a skilled strategist and storyteller, utilizing social listening, data-driven insights, and trend forecasting. Noteworthy achievements include her coordination of Yango's Mi Carrera campaign in Bolivia, Peru, and Guatemala. Uh, her commitment to community research is evident in her recent study, and she also launched the Future is Female eBook the International Women's Day Empowering Women in the Global South. Livia also initiated LATAM's Creativity Lab, promoting innovation within the agency. Congratulations to Livia. Is Livia here? Or someone from LATAM Intercept? She was in, uh, she, she was in here. She left in, um, I, I'm speaking on her behalf. Um, she was in a meeting with a client. She couldn't uh, dismiss this, and we are proud. Livia is a great um, leader in the digital team, and we are very happy for that. Clients are always more important. They pay the bill at the end of the day. But please share our regards, Livia, and we wish her next year or the year after to win, not the rising star because she's already a star but to win the best PR manager in the world. Okay, congratulations to Livia. Like, like all great rising stars, I'm not surprised to see that she is actually busy with client work. And the next category, PR Silver Star. And the winner in this category from Spain, it's the CEO and founder of Marco Agency, Didier Lagay. 
founder of Marco, under his leadership, Marco has experienced a remarkable 69% revenue surge to 15.2 million euros in 2022. Didier strategically diversified the agency through acquisitions um, like Ejecutivos and Africa Media Communications Group. Marco now has 18 offices. I remember when it had many fewer. It has grown incredibly over the years. Many notable partnerships. Its thought leadership is showcased through awards, a docu-series on Amazon Prime, and his book, A Country Brand, A Branded Countries. Marco's commitment to education includes the Ken's Foundation and collaborations with the University of San Pablo, offering learning opportunities. Congratulations to Didier. In Spain, I think, Arun, in Spain, at that time, they have siesta. <laughs> so usually, maybe we should change timing of the awards <laughs> when we see that there are so many, so many winners from Spain, because it's yeah. uh, in Spain is 3.30 now p.m. And I mean, certainly they're somewhere taking a nap and then five o'clock they'll go back to the offices. But yeah. indeed, congratulations to Didier from Marco Agency. Indeed. More important things to do, no doubt. So the Absolutely. next category... Uh, is the, the, the famous uh, uh, Green Day song, Wake, Wake Me Up When September Ends, then we can transfer <laughs> Wake Me Up When I Win Award. Yes, indeed. Okay, so our next category, special event. And the winner in this category, once again, from Ukraine, the largest wind project in the country, DTEC Renewables. Congratulations to them for winning the special event category. It's the second award today. Um, so that's just incredible work. Well done to DTEC. Thank you very much once again. It's, it's just incredible review. So we actually didn't expect to win twice. And thank you very much for this recognition. We are really very honored. Slava Ukraini. Героям слава. All right, just a couple more categories left. The next is the TikTok campaign category. And the winner in this category from the US is KWT Global for how Illumina created Genomics Talk. Teaming up with KWT Global, Illumina launched Genomics Talk on TikTok to address the lack of genomics education focused on creating engaging content. In just five months, the campaign surpassed goals, amassing 22.8 thousand followers, 2.4 million impressions, and a 4.58% engagement rate. The strategic approach successfully established Illumina as a genomics authority on TikTok, making complex topics accessible and engaging. So congratulations to KWT Global. Okay, and we move on. Our final category is Viral Post of the Year. The winner, as you might expect from Ukraine, World Post Day with Nova Post. Nova Post executed a creative and successful campaign to counter negative reactions from customers following a tariff increase amid the war and rising prices in Ukraine. The company created a profile on the dating app Tinder, offering users a chance to go on a date at the nearest parcel locker or branch, complete with the promotional code for free delivery. The initiative aimed to boost customer morale, increase loyalty, and generate user-generated content. The campaign garnered immense attention, distributing 500 promotional codes in just two days, achieving a 2.2 million reach on social networks, six media publications, reducing negative mentions by three times, not only addressing the initial challenges, but also fostering positive interactions with the brand, showcasing the effectiveness of this extraordinary activation. Congratulations once again to Nova Post. Thank you, thank you very much. We're really honored and we really in this dark times take every opportunity to cheer up our company, uh, customers and followers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Arun, I think that was the last category. That's and correct. Needless to say, and I don't have a words really to express our sincere thanks, not mine, but all the participants to you 
to the members of the jury for the amazing management of the so difficult show today. We had an uh, interview. I mean, we had a. Uh, 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 we had, uh, uh, I mean, uh, electricity failure in India. So you changed the, uh, you changed the computer. We had a long list of winners. Uh, all the winners, congratulations from the bottom of my heart, from on behalf of the jury, on behalf of Arun. All of you will receive these beautiful plaques. And again, I, I can say that the only reason to to make them this way foldable is to put them in an envelope and to make the life of DHL or FedEx, whatever we will use, much easier. Our assistant, Jessica, will send to you, of course, to all of you, congratulations letter on behalf of Arun and myself, and there will be uh, exact uh, guidelines how to receive this award. But I would like also to say a couple of very, very, very personal words of recognition not only to Arun, but also to Provoke Media and the whole partnership we've been doing throughout the years. I was a president of ECO for a couple of years, still in the, on the board of the executive committee of ECO, responsible for the growth of the, of the association. And I really cannot say how, cannot, even cannot find the words, how excellent uh, cooperation and how excellent communications and relations we have with uh, uh, provoke media and uh, Paul Holmes and Darun Suleiman and Maya Pavlinska seems and all the team. So I would like on behalf of the, the executive committee of WCFA to urge you to take part of the Provoke Awards. They are or the, uh, also the Provoke Summits. They have different awards in different regions, different summits, of course. Oh, they are very professional, very well done. And you've seen what amazing job Arun uh, did today, uh, and this was really a very big showcase of success in the public relations business all over the world. To summarize, there are two countries which were very well exposed today out of 20 countries with 95 entries, and these countries were Ukraine and Brazil. Why? I don't know. Most probably they deserved at most, and this is for sure, not most probably, but most probably they also send more application because Arun knows that same with Provoke Media, with the with the big awards, the Sabre Awards, uh, and also with other awards, the more you send applications, the more active you are, the more projects you promote, the more people or professionals you, you promote, the higher chances are to, to win. Uh, I really apologize we had interruption. It happened first time in my life. And we are using Zoom since many, many years. All of you are using Zoom. There is no way to prevent such an attack because it's an open event. If it's a corporate event, then you provide a special code. If it's a closed event between 10, 15, maybe 5,000 people, then you provide special code. But this event was open to everyone. We take lessons and our assistants uh, sitting just across me, Jessica, who is our WCFA coordinator, and Sylvia, our assistant, they, we, we had a good lesson. So we'll be absolutely very careful and uh, we already know how to manage these things, but we are not uh, insured and uh, we are not guaranteed that it can happen in a very open event. In any case, congratulations to all of you, congratulations to all the participants because you are the winners, not only the gold winners, not only the silver or bronze winners. You are the winners because you've done this wonderful 95 projects throughout the year. We had two options this year, either to announce the awards online on Zoom or to announce them in April when we will take our, or we will, uh, we will organize our forum in person. Majority of the voters they insisted to be announced until the end of the year. I would like to say that all of the participants, all of the participants in the WCFR Davos Communications Awards will have a special price for the April summit in Davos. They will have a special discount and they will be acknowledged and recognized also in Davos. And I'll be more than happy to see Arun as our keynote speaker 
as well. And I'm sure that his brother from another mother, Paul Holmes, will come and will take part because Paul was the one who who opened our first ever forum in Davos in 2009. And when I called him to invite him, he said, I hope it will be a serious event because Davos, you know, Davos sounds, and it was a, it coincided with the with the final day of the World Economic Forum. And we invited Klaus Schwab as well, and the, the mayor of Davos. So we'll be very happy to see you there and to be acknowledged on the stage at the gala dinner with your awards as well. And your names will be mentioned, especially we will mention and we'll thank very much to one person, Arun Sundaman. So thank you very, very, very much. And uh, I hope to see you very soon. Well, thank you very much too, Maxim. Um, it's, it's very kind words. And thanks to everyone who's participated today. It's, as I said, it's an honor to be the jury chair. And uh, yes, best of luck with your event. We're hopeful that at least one of us will be able to make it. So thank you all so much and take care. From all, from, from, to all of you, from the bottom of our hearts, happy holidays. Have a, let's have a peaceful world. Let's have a good public relations business. Be careful with artificial intelligence, my friends, because nothing will happen with artificial intelligence without our own intelligence. So we should put a lot of effort to our natural intelligence in order to use the artificial intelligence in a good way. Happy holidays. We love you.